Hello, it's Chef John from foodwishes.com and today we are making broccoli garlic angel hair pasta. This is kind of like the cauliflower alioli I did, only with broccoli. And uh, it's really delicious, really healthy, so take some broccoli, some garlic, lots of garlic, olive oil butter, red pepper flakes, and what we're going to do is separate the broccoli. All right, this is the key to this recipe. So take a nice sharp knife and just shave the nice bright green flowers off the top. Don't worry about getting them too small. Just shave them right off into a bowl. And then the stems, all right, or the branches, you're going to just chop up into small pieces. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to make a sauce out of the stems, and then we're going to throw the tops in at the end so they stay kind of green and not so falling apart. And you'll see, it's all going to work. So now you can chop this as small as you want. You want them at least like quarter inch, eighth inch pieces. So keep chopping and keep chopping, but eventually you lose patience. And you say, you know what, that's good enough. Throw it in a bowl. There's all your shaved tops. And now we start the sauce, which could not be easier. Olive oil and butter on medium heat. Throw in your massive amount of garlic. And just give that a swirl in the butter and oil. And when it starts to sizzle, throw in your red pepper flakes and have your chicken stock ready because we are not going to brown this garlic. You know what I always say about browning the garlic? It'll wreck it. So as soon as that starts to sizzle, three seconds later, throw in the chicken stock. Okay? That's going to stop the garlic from cooking or overcooking. You're going to add your broccoli stems and or branch pieces. And then we're going to simmer that on medium heat until they're tender, which is going to take about 10 minutes. Okay? maybe 12 minutes. So you want to keep that liquid level about what you see right there. If you see it getting too dry, just add a little water. Okay, and keep drizzling in water or stock until that level just kind of stays constant because we got to have enough liquid to cook these broccoli tops. So when the bottoms are very soft and tender, throw in the tops and those are only going to take about three or four minutes to cook through, which works out perfectly for us because the angel hair pasta we're using only takes three or four minutes to cook through. Now normally it takes about five minutes, but I like to cook it a minute under because what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that delicious garlic, broccoli, olive oil, butter sauce, not to mention red pepper flakes, and I'm going to pour it over the pasta and finish cooking that last minute in with the pasta. You know my pasta trick. So there's my one minute undercooked angel hair pasta. I cooked it for four minutes set five in the package, pour my sauce over, which is basically our sauce now. All right, so pour our sauce over, give it a stir with a wooden spoon, throw in a big old handful of Reggiano Parmesan, that's kind of like the you know, glue of the pasta sauce. We're gonna give it a little toss, and then any liquid that's left, which there's a good amount, is gonna just be sucked up and soaked into that beautiful angel hair it's going to absorb for that last minute of cooking all those wonderful flavors. I mean, the smell on this is unbelievable. What we're going to do is we're going to throw on the lid and just let it sit for two minutes. Okay? Now, spaghetti, I kind of usually leave about five minutes, but angel hair is a lot thinner. Two minutes later, put it in a bowl. I'm going to grate over some more fresh cheese. By the way, this is an inside joke with some chefs from about 10 years ago. There was like a trend where cheese, spices, cocoa, powdered sugar, we had to sprinkle it on the edges of the plate. It was really funny. It lasted for about two weeks. The waiters complained that they kept putting their thumbs in the food. But anyway, a little uh, inside kitchen humor there. There is our beautiful broccoli angel hair with garlic, red pepper flakes on top to garnish. So healthy, so delicious, so aromatic. You got to eat your broccoli. This is a great way to do it. Go to the site, get all the ingredients, and read the post while you're there. And uh, enjoy. Enjoy.